Good morning, everyone. So welcome to our K today conversation class. And uh, today it is the first day for us that we start our conversations. So um, our conversation that we're going to learn today is about Unit One. Unit One on page one in your K to A conversation book. Okay, so this is what the book that we are going to learn today. Okay, so we're going to learn about unit one that we will learn about classroom commands. So everyone, we read together. Classroom commands. Classroom commands. Okay, again, classroom commands. So uh, classroom commands. The reason why that we learn about. A classroom commands because we want students your kids students in in the classroom know how uh, to respect and know how to react to teacher when teacher ask all of the students to do anything like uh, sit down stand up or when you see your teacher you stand up and then uh, when your, your teacher asks you to sit down, you can say thank you to your teacher. So uh, the classroom commands uh, are very important for students in their learning in the class, especially to show about uh, the respect between students to teachers. Okay, so uh, the first, uh, before we go to the whole conversation of uh, unit one, we need to know or learn the vocabulary that refer to uh, new words first uh, that it easy for you and, and can help you to read and practice your conversation in the next video more easier okay so here are the vocab for you the first one is the word sit sit so everyone read together sit 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 so sit over here you, you you can look at the picture that the boy is sitting down he's sitting down he sit he sits on a chair okay so this word is sit sit all right and he is down 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 you you look at uh, the, the the arrow right here that down that throw up and down for example over here i will drop the marker and then the marker goes down so over here me that down okay again sit down down and this one is stand 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 you look the boy is standing up you look at teacher i am standing up i am standing up okay so here stand i stand on the floor okay so here is stand stand again sit down stand stand all right so this one is up 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 look you you can look at this arrow so this arrow means that up for example, here, I will uh, throw the marker up to the sky. You see, the marker go up and then the marker down again. So this one, down, up again. The first one, I throw the marker into the air, up, okay? And after up, it will be down, okay? So this one is up, up, again. Can you read this? Go together sit down stand up up okay and over here is clap clap so you look at the picture of two hands why i put the word uh, the picture two hands right here because when you clap your hands you need to use your hand clap right you need you need to use your boss hands left left and right okay so this one is clap clap okay clap for one time one clap for two times one two clap for three times one two three so this one is clap clap 
All right. And this one is hands. Hands. So how many hands do you have? Two, right? Hands. Here is your hand, and here is also your hand. So these are your hands. Okay, you have two hands. All right. So again, sit down, stand up, up, clap, hands, clap, hands. All right. Now we go to uh, another vocab. So here is stamp. Stamp. Do you know stamp? You look at my feet. Stamp. Here. When your feet, like, you try to stamp like that on the floor, it means stamp. Okay? You are stamping. Stamp. All right. Again, stamp. Mm -hmm. Stamp. And this one is foot. Food. The food right here refer to here, but only one food. But normally people or human have two. So for this noun, for singular noun that we change to plural noun, we need we need to change the word food to the word feet. Feet. You look here, you look over here, the one I made the dark right here. You see, this one we call feet. If only one, only one, we call food. But we have two, we say feet, feet, feet. All right. And this one is right, right. Why I put uh, the picture of pencil? Because when you use your pencil, I mean that refer to writing that you use your hand to hold the pencil and write or you can like here marker you see write 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 so you use marker or pencil or pen to write your lessons okay so this one is write write and last one is read read why i put the word read i put the pictures of mouse because when you read and you need to use your tongue and your mouth okay to pronounce the word to read the words correctly so you need your mouth or your tongue right here so this one is read read okay again before we say goodbye we need to practice the reading together with teacher okay unit one classroom commands Vocabulary, vocabulary, sit, sit, down, down, stand, stand, up, up, clap, clap. Hands, hands, stamp, 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 feet, 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 right, right, read, read. Read. Okay, so that's it for uh, world capture for the first uh, video, and I hope you can catch up what I uh, taught you. And don't forget your task one is copy this, copy this, and practice your reading. Please remember, try to read the world cap right here, and make sure that you can read all these words. And if you know these words clearly it will be more easier for you to practice the classroom commands in the next video okay that's it don't forget copy and read it and send me a voice your reading to our online group thank you see you in the next video oh, hello my k2a 
conversation class. So uh, now it's time for a uh, practice your conversation right here about classroom commands. And as I told you before, classroom commands are very important because uh, when you follow the, the, the classroom commands uh, to your teachers, uh, refer to it show that you are respect to your teachers and you are a really good student okay and uh, before I go to uh, classroom commands I want to review the new words or we can say vocabulary that you have learned uh, in the first video and I also add some vocabulary right here uh, before we go to our classroom commands okay so your class uh, your, your vocabulary right here is the first word is the word sit sit okay you know already sit look the boy is sitting down sit okay and over here is down down all right stand stand look look at the teacher right now i am standing up i am standing up in the class so i'm standing okay stand and this one is up up you look at the marker one two three up okay clap clap your hands clap your hands clap hands all right and this one is stamp what do you use to stamp your feet right stamp your feet stamp all right feet you have two feet right i use a pencil to write i hold i use my fingers to hold a pencil okay to write right read i read the vocabulary read i read okay and this one that i just add three new words like the first one is turn for example i'm look at you and somebody call me hey teacher i turn okay i turn maybe i i don't look at you anymore i just turn to uh where the sound come from okay like i'm talking to you and then one other student asked me hey teacher turn. and then i turn what what so this one that turn and this one around around you look at this around with that go for the first place and then go to the first place again around and i say turn around I mean that you need to turn for one circle and your place still right here turn around turn around okay so this one is turn turn around around stretch okay stretch out stretch out stretch out like this your arms right here like this okay stretch out okay so that's it for vocab and now we go to our classroom commands together so we have seven classroom commands right here so the first one is stand up everyone stand up when you see your teacher your teacher enter the classroom so the first thing that you should do is you need to stand up and say hello hi to your teacher for example, now teacher is coming. And then when you see your teacher, you stand up and say, Good morning, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you, like that. So you need to stand up, okay? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. All right. And then when your teacher come, you say, after you standing up, you say, hello, teacher, how are you? Your teacher say, I'm fine, thank you. And you, you say, I'm okay, thanks. And what is your teacher saying? Teacher say, sit down, sit down, sit down. Look, sit down. When you, you hear the word sit down, you say, thank you, teacher. 
thank you and then you sit down okay like picture two here sit down sit down okay number one stand up stand up sit down sit down please sit down please all right and for the third command is hands up hands up or because we can say hands up hands up if you look at my hands up up again hands up like this okay so number three is hands up okay number four is hands down again hands down down like this like this okay so hands up here and hands down here like the word sit down stand up sit down stand up hands up hands down okay and number five is clap your hands clap your hands so when your teacher said clap your hand for two times one two because your teacher say only two times the teacher said clap your hands for three times one two three again clap your hands for five times one two three four five okay so number five is clap your hands and number six is stomp your feet again stomp your feet stomp your feet okay and the last one of your commands that we're going to learn today is stretch out your arms stretch out your arms stretch out your arms like this like this okay stretch out your arms okay so again before we say goodbye let's practice the classroom commands together number one stand up number two sit down number three hands up number four hands down number five clap your hands number six stamp your feet okay number seven stretch out your arms stretch out your arms okay so that's it and we have practice for you so please practice watch my video and practice uh, the classroom commands from one to seven at home if it is possible please voice your speaking into our group okay so that's it for part two and thank you for your watching and see you in the last video hello my beloved students so welcome to our last part of your lesson today that i want to summarize what you have learned so far with teacher from part one and part two okay so today we learn about classroom commands that about the rules in your class maybe it, it likes the rules in your class but it refer to a good hobby in your class when you know the classroom commands you practice it well it means you are a good student you show respect to your teachers and what we have learned a lot we learned about classroom commands about vocabulary that we learn a lot from here and in the uh, second part like like in the second video i taught you about seven classroom commands that are very important for you and i asked you to read and practice at home i hope you have done it and i hope that after you have done it please send me your reading and also like activities so you can uh, let your parents your mommy and daddy uh, take video for you about uh, your practicing our classroom commands and i hope you do it okay don't forget after doing it send to me and here are the classroom commands like number one is stand up 
Number two is sit down. Number three is hands up. Number four is hands down. Number seven is clap your hands. Number six is stomp your feet. And the last one is stretch stretch out your arms. Okay? So don't forget. And uh, before we say goodbye, I have a uh, homework for you on page uh, one, two, three, and four. So uh, for page one, you can read this. So this lesson is it's similar to what I taught you on the board, okay, on page one. And page two is the same, refer to the lesson that I just taught you, so practice your reading and especially practice the classroom commands at home, okay? And number three is your homework that you need to read this and then you need to trace, I mean that you need to write again, okay? Like the word stand up, the word sit down, the word clap your hands, the word stamp your feet, the word hands up, the word hands down, okay? So read this and then re rewrite, or we can say trace, okay? This is on page three. And another page of your homework is on page four that you need to match. Over here, like classroom combined from the first word to another word to become a praxis, like the word seed. So you need to match to the word sit down, sit down, sit down, and the word stand. Fine, stand what? Stand down or stand up like that. Clap your feet or clap your hands. Stamp your feet or stamp your hands. Turn around or turn your feet. So you need to locate the first word and the second word carefully before marching. Okay, so that's it for your homework and that's it for your lesson for today. And thank you for your watching and participating. Don't forget practice your conversation. The more you practice, the more you can really speak your English and can improve your English in short time. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye.